welcome to BearAmerica.tv. John Pinkerton, Paul Leone. Paul Leone. It's always good to, uh, to be doing these and continue this uh, uh, as much as I can since I'm now living in Fort Worth, Texas, and he's in Savannah, but I get back and forth every once in a while so we can continue this uh, because it's a fun hobby to have. We get actually hate email. It's a love-hate email. Like, you guys suck. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the guys. I think the guys in South Korea. Uh, you know who. Oh, yeah. uh, who, who are our good friends? Uh, well, Bill, who is now friends with on, on Facebook, and, and Rob, who I said called Rick. I think I don't know. Uh, uh, and Eric, those guys from South Korea who can't get good beer, uh, who sent us those string of emails. But uh, but anyway, uh, I digress. Uh, our good friends at Alaskan Brewing uh, sent us a bunch of great beers. And we've done a few on the site already, and I, I want to continue. Um, I mean, they sent us so many. I've got to. I couldn't do just one. I had to do a couple of them, and I'm not even going to get through all of them they sent us. But the one that caught my eye was called the Al Alaskan uh, Baltic Porter Ale, and I guess it had a couple different things. The Baltic Porter Ale, and I think when I had said something to you, I just always thought they were either porters or what. But does it's saying Porter Ale make it a different style of porter? Yeah, I'm a little confused by that myself. Okay. Uh, the, the, the porters are a type of ale, okay. first of all. Mm -hmm. um, and my understanding of Baltic porters is that it's a porter style that's brewed fairly strong, uh, but it's yeah, this one's usually uh, fermented with a lager yeast. 9.8% alcohol for this bad boy. Um, and the, the lagering business was kind of the difference of the two, mm -hmm. uh, between the two. There are also, to make things even more complicated, you also have state laws, and I don't know if this is the case in Alaska, but for instance in uh, Texas, um, if it's above a certain alcohol content, it must be called uh, malt liquor or Bach beer or oh, something Oh really? Like, okay. Remember like Shiner Bach? Shiner Bach, yeah, actually kind of a big fan of Shiner Bach, which we've never done here, but I um, drink that there. But I remember years ago, uh, when Cellus Brewing Company was operating out of Austin, Texas, they had a beer that they ended up calling Pale Bach, but it was really just kind of an American Pale Ale style. But because of the alcohol level, I guess there's, there's something goofy about it's craziness. What yeah. you guys have to go through. Stay, you know, Here, here's another hoop for you to jump through. Right? Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. it's just the way it is. I yeah. mean, one of the it is both a blessing and a curse that yeah. you know we have this United States of America, and each state makes its own rules about certain things. Mm -hmm. And in the deep south, yeah, right. Well, we got, yeah, we talked about the whole alcohol by volume thing. That's another block. That's a whole other other episode. Yeah, but there are some states that. So, anyways, that, our, that, beer, our beer drinks just fine. That, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that that may play in, into this, uh, the making the distinction about it being a porter ale. I don't know, uh, but it is it, being nine point eight percent. It's 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 way on up there. Um, Here's the thing. When I first poured this, and you know, it was a little cold, and I kind of swished it around a little bit, and it warmed up a little bit. I just got like an explosion of flavor in this. There's a lot going on in this beer. Ooh. A lot going on in this beer. Oh yeah, that's a, mm -hmm. that is a big beer. Now I did read the list of things, um, uh, and you peeked too a little bit, and I was surprised at how much was going on in here. And let me just tell you, and at the bottom of the screen here, we'll put, like I always do, uh, what's in here. But I'm reading things like, um, oh, uh, deep maltiness, uh, licorice, raisin, uh, chocolate, mild coffee, cherry, dried fruit. I mean, that's all, you know, they sent me this little cheat sheet list thing here, and that's all listed on what's going on in this beer. Well, that's, you know, that, they're, they're sort of feeding you the, uh, like, here's what you should taste. Here's what you should taste. But does that mean it's necessarily brewed with that, or is no, that just no, a flavor? No, right? they, would, they would definitely specify. But, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I can attest to the fact that there is uh, uh, quite a bit of flavor going on there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things that I would uh, sort of, the reason I would lean towards agreeing that, it, that this must be an ale as opposed to a lager is that I'm getting this uh, uh, distinct kind of fruitiness uh, uh, there that, yeah. that, that, that to me just kind of says ale. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's kind of vanilla-like characters going yeah. on to me. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, very rich. Of course, there's lots of malt character going on there. That, that's just... Outstanding stuff. I'm really kind of right, here's, psyched about this. Here's, we've, we've been very happy with all the Alaskan beers that we, we've tried. And we've given the talk about taste is subjective. We don't rate beers on this on this website because a beer that I might dislike, you might love. So who am I to say? And so, um, But let me ask you this. The one thing I've noticed on reading all of these things, how much 
does water play in beer? Quite a bit. The taste of water, or uh, are we going back to the glacier bed thing? Well, that's what I. But, but all of them, right? You know, it says it's uh, the water comes from a 1,500 square mile Juno ice field, and I'm just wondering if the water is more pure than if you purified, whether it would change the profile of a beer, make it well balanced, make it less well balanced. I don't know. Well, water definitely plays in uh, to every beer. Mm -hmm. Of course, it being the predominant right. ingredient, mm -hmm. not necessarily character, but ingredient uh, in any beer. Um, but but I think the influence is relatively subtle. Um, you have all these salts. You know, water's not just water. Of course, it's a, uh, a, a mixture of water and various mineral salts that are in there. Um, most of them are calcium salts. Mm -hmm. um, you also have some magnesium salts. And the list just goes on and on. But uh, there are two major um, elements that go with those salts that will influence the character of the beer and if uh, you know, everybody's starting to nod off this point. I know. Well, you know what though? Some people love it though because they're like, good show because they, you know, our home brewer friends and you get it. We talk a lot about gypsum, which yeah. is calcium sulfate, and we talk a lot about calcium chloride. Uh, chloride and sulfate are the two sort of uh, different ends of the, the spectrum with, with calcium salts. Mm -hmm. And uh, chloride is going to give or sort of help impart more full body character. And uh, sulfate is going to uh, impart more uh, sort of a dry uh, character that would uh, enhance bitterness. Okay. You know, like the Burton on Trent River is the uh -huh. one we always talk about. In England, uh, there's a reason why you know England's well known for pale ales. Mm -hmm. uh, that just the water sort of suits that style. Whereas uh, a water that's high chloride, uh, you know, would definitely favor something darker or uh, sure. something where you, you want. Uh, something more full body. And I don't have no idea what what uh, what the ice fields really how, how I just that think plays you know in, when I think I just think of when you think of glacier, you think of ice fields in Juneau, Alaska. You would think just pure, you know, just pure. But you know, you know, I just that's pure is the think. driven snow. Pure is the driven snow. Yeah, so, I, I mean, we. I don't know if that's because we've been sort of fed this. By, I, I like, don't know either. That's, Coors and yeah, uh, right, right. Uh, well, that's Colorado. Olympia yeah, and you know all these all these. Uh, beer brands over the years that have really kind of like bush, you know, that icy, you kind of, I don't know if it's all hype or whether there's actually something to it, um, but. Uh, but I can tell you that as this warms up throughout this, uh, it, it's definitely, the, the flavors pop a whole lot more. I, I just, you Yeah, know. it's got a lovely nose. It's, uh, yeah. it's just, uh, it's got that quality that I often describe as sort of that doughy, fruity yeah, character yeah. that sort of, uh, uh, this, this would be nice out of a snifter, I think, by the oh, fire. Yeah. This and is definitely just, a snifter. Uh, yeah, just enjoy it. And, and I, I wouldn't drink you know, a lot of this, but you're right. It would be like a nice after dinner. And they, they did send us uh, what food it goes with and all that. So just look down here at the bottom of the screen, and I'll be popping all that stuff in there uh, throughout the program. One of the things I do like about this that I would like to mention is that um, though it is, what do you say, 9.8% alcohol? Yep, sure is. Um, alcohol, I mean, it, while I, I immediately sense it as a stronger beer, I'm not really getting booziness um, that's that's in my my criteria that's usually one of those uh, uh, characteristics that I look for is that it's a well integrated alcohol right. flavor and, um, and it's a higher alcohol this is a higher alcohol and, and in their notes they say drink it now or save it for several years yeah. I mean that's a that's a great thing because you don't have to just sell her I mean it's not it's not just for wine beer can be stored and it, and it will develop I mean yeah. this beer will change Significantly, I would think. So they sent me two bottles of this, so I'm keeping one to do just that. Maybe years down the road, we'll, we'll do that. And, right on. Uh, you know, as we do this. So here we well, go. That was a treat. Thank you very yeah. much uh, to the Alaskan Brewing Company. Alaskan Baltic Porter Ale, uh, another really nice beer from the Alaskan Brewing Company. So thank you, Ashley, and all the fine folks there. Uh, Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Think at BeerAmerica.tv. Cheers. Goodness gracious. Flavor. Wow.